Cote's Alphanet is live. You can check it out for yourselves. Keep watching and I'll show you how. The Alphanet is the birth of Cote's revolutionary trust chain technology, a living, breathing network of currency transactions beyond anything that we've seen before. So how is it beyond? What makes this more than just another Bitcoin or Ethereum? Well, a number of key factors. The promise of faster speeds, greater scale, all the things the early cryptocurrencies have really struggled with. Here's how the trust chain is structured. First, a new user goes through the standard Know Your Customer or KYC identity checks. Currently, they're carried out centrally by the Coty team. But the plan is eventually to decentralize these important checks, let the Coty community decide how to run the KYC system. After a user has been through those onboarding checks, the KYC server then generates the user's initial trust score, which determines how fast and how cheaply their transactions will be processed on the network. Now, this gives every user an incentive to behave ethically in their transactions so that they can improve their trust score and enjoy more efficient transactions. The KYC servers also create and store the keys for user seed generation. So users can connect to the Coty wallet and carry out transactions. And also if a user loses their login details, then the KYC servers may be used to recover their seed. Now all the changes to users' trust scores are handled by the trust score nodes, which are dedicated servers run by users. There are other types of node also operated by users and they receive fees for their work. Full nodes are the absolute backbone of the system. Each Coty wallet is connected to a full node and every transaction is checked and validated by a full node before being added to the cluster of Coty transactions. The DSP or double spend prevention nodes make sure each transaction only happens once, which is of course imperative in any blockchain type network. There are also history nodes, which keep a record of all historic transactions and users' full account histories. And Coty also maintains special zero spend servers, which send zero value transactions to tie up any loose ends in the cluster. And that is your trust chain architecture. Now let's examine the Alphanet's key innovations. First of all, Coty has developed a unique proof of trust algorithm to solve the scalability problem that many older cryptocurrencies suffer from. Their proof of trust system is very, very different from Bitcoin and Ethereum's proof of work system. It balances incentives for users and prevents network spamming, as Coty's chief technology officer, Nir Khalwani, explains. We are not mining. There is no mining in our network. The only proof of trust is needed to safeguard the system, as I said before, from spamming, and Alice said it right now, and also from DDoS attack. I mean, by that, you basically safeguard all the system and all the network. Also, the proof of trust is based on the trust score and many other parameters which define how many work you need to do in order to confirm a transaction. The cluster achieves scalability through its use of parallel source selection and transaction confirmations, as well as through the use of the Coty Trust Scores. Blockchains are always vulnerable, as we know, to double spending attacks, and they usually have to implement inefficient centralized protection systems. But Coty instead uses dedicated decentralized DSP nodes, which flag up any suspect transactions. And the DSP nodes also have another special feature too. Most blockchains get clogged up because they require all system nodes to be strongly connected to reach transaction consensus. But what Coty does is allow the DSP nodes to be distributed to a number of different clusters. So basically all of the nodes in any one cluster are strongly connected, and then a protocol for cross-cluster synchronization is implemented. And this allows parallelized transactions to take place with a much higher throughput of transactions than you would see on conventional blockchains. So how does one node know whether another node can be trusted? This is a problem faced by most networks, but it's simple here, just give nodes their own trust scores too. So if a node can't be trusted, then it's not allowed to collect any fees. Another question people ask is, how do you protect the buyers and sellers when there's a dispute between two parties? Most solutions require a central authority, which of course runs against the whole guiding ethos of cryptocurrencies. But Coty has found a brilliant solution, and this is my favorite part of their whole system. It's a real quantum leap forward in cryptocurrency technology, I think. 
juries of network participants examining cases and getting paid in Koti coins. The juries are made up of highly trusted users and they're incentivized to judge fairly by the promise of extra Koti coins if their decision is in line with the majority verdict in the case. Now, when the Koti testnet launches around the end of 2018, there will be another raft of innovations. First of all, why have a single DAG when you can have a multi-DAG? This is where Koti rivals Ethereum as it forms the basis of a multitude of different tokens and smart contracts all built on top of the Koti structure and using the main Koti coin to pay fees. Koti smart contracts, uniquely, will be executed on-chain and are fully decentralized. They'll be verified using full nodes and recorded in the relevant cluster of the multi-DAG. And putting together the multi-DAG and smart contract technology together allows the creation of high-performance stable coins. So those are just a few of the innovations that we can look forward to over the coming months. Now, enough of the theory. The launch of the Alphanet means you can start to see some of these innovations working in practice. So all you need to do is sign up at Koti.io, upload your passport or ID card and generate your seed. Then you'll be able to carry out transactions and see them added to a live 3D representation of the Koti cluster. And for a full guide to accessing the Alphanet, just go to Koti.io, click through to Koti's Medium blog. Now, a few months into 2019, we will see the grand launch of the mainnet, with the Koti coins being minted and distributed, and the Koti X exchange, which will allow people to buy and sell the coins. And then things get even more interesting, as other developers start building their own applications on top of the Koti framework, and create their own coins, which will then be exchangeable for Koti coins on Koti X. So by mid-2019, we'll start to see the true scale of Koti, not just a revolutionary payment system, them, but also an entire self-contained programming environment allowing limitless innovation by outside developers all over the world. And it all starts right here with the Koti Alphanet.